Breaking news, two men found guilty of murder in the killing of Run DMC's Jam Master Jay. Jurors found Carl Jordan Jr., Jay's godson, and Ronald Washington, Jay's childhood friend, guilty on all counts. Prosecutors say the murder was in retaliation for being cut out of a drug deal. For more than two decades, it remained one of the music industry's biggest unsolved mysteries. Eyewitness News reporter Darla Miles has followed this case for years. We begin with N.J. Burkett, though, at the courthouse in downtown Brooklyn. N.J. Right, Joe, the hip-hop star's family spent years wondering if they would ever see this day. Some of them never lived to see it. But yes, the verdict is guilty in all counts in the execution-style murder of Jam Master Jay back in October of 2002. His name is Jason Mizell, the hip-hop pioneer who joined Run DMC to bring rap and hip-hop into the mainstream back in the 1980s. But years later, his fame was fading and the money was running out, so he turned to cocaine trafficking, according to prosecutors. His two friends, Carl Jordan and Ronald Washington, were charged with murdering Mizell after they learned that they were about to be cut out of a $200,000 drug deal. There was no forensic evidence and no surveillance video at the crime scene where Mizell was gunned down in his own recording studio in Queens. Now, the jury heard from two people who were there and identified both men. But defense attorneys insisted that the testimony was too old and unreliable to be believed, and the motive, they insisted, was weak. But the jury here clearly disagreed. The deliberations were over in a matter of hours. Both men guilty on the murder counts against them. A cousin of Jason Mizell spoke with reporters here just a short time ago. Jason was an amazing you know, talent. Uh, he um, loved everybody. He, was, uh, uh, he could never say no. Um, and, and that's one of the reasons why some of the people around him um, were um, undesirables, if you will, because he just didn't push people away. And he, he loved everybody, and he just couldn't say no. And I think that this contributed to this, uh, where we're at today. Now, in a statement released late this afternoon, NYPD Commissioner Edward Caban praised the family for being patient, uh, saying, quote, we hope that the jury's decision uh, will advance a small measure of closure. Again, both defendants guilty on both murder counts against them. Live at U.S. District Court in downtown Brooklyn, and Jay Burkett, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.